Okay, Suzanne, um, I'm going to make you just a second little uh, email here. I'm going to email this one to you because it'll be um, in a better sequence. Again, I enjoyed working with you, and just stay in touch with me. Uh, if you think about what we started with today, we basically uh, first looked at your grip, and I said that your grip was too much in the palm of your left hand, and your right hand was too much under. Uh, I had you use a grip routine to help you do the same thing each time, and mentioned that you need to hold the club more in the fingers of both hands, and you need to get the lines that you form with your thumb and forefingers so that your left one points at your bra strap on the right side, and your right one points at your shoulder. So bra strap, shoulder, you get those parallel lines, and your right hand looks much more on top of the club than it used to. What this does is it helps your hands release the club, gives you more speed down the road, and gives you that click that you want. It also helps the club have a natural rotation, which is very important, so you don't have to help the ball in the air. So the first thing we started with was a good grip. The next thing we went to was kind of a feeling of just basically turn and cock your wrist and turn and cock your wrist, keeping your head steady as you do it. Turn and cock, turn and cock, as steady ahead as you can for this bus tie, bus tie swing. I told you you could look at your shadow, you can watch your head in that when you're outside, you can look in a mirror, but this is the feeling where it looks very matching on both sides. And then to grow a swing, all you really have to do is just start adding more speed, you know, coming through, and all of a sudden your swing will kind of get longer on its own. I'm going to put a couple down the line now so you can see what it looked like. Basically, the one on the left was the first one that you did, and you can see the same drill. This was just kind of turn and cock your wrist and turn and cock your wrist. You can see I'm matching. And I told you that this was a very nice swing shape and that basically we just needed now just to go ahead and move athletically through the ball and start shifting your weight a little bit as you come through. So here's the swing that you ended up with today. This was turn and cock your wrist and then turn through and cock your wrist and just shift your weight as you do it. And that's the golf swing you ended up with. Now again, I'm going to put some swings on here so you can just watch it in regular speed as we talk. But this is a three-quarter swing. It's not a full swing. And if you just start adding more speed after you build confidence, you'll be able to just keep hitting it farther and farther and keep getting that click. I set you up in a station today where I'm going to slow it down now so you can see. set you up in a station today where I put four tees down put a tee down and then a ball on the second tee and then a tee down and a ball on the fourth tee. And you just want to hit the tee, then hit the ball, then hit the tee, then hit the ball. Don't hit the ball unless you hit the tee on the first attempt. But that will just groove good fundamentals. So I really enjoyed working with you. Good luck with your game and stay in touch. My email, uh, you'll get it when I send this to you, is sandygoff at cox.net. So just stay in touch and let me know how you're doing. Good luck to you. Hopefully I'll see you back at Old Edwards next year. Bye-bye.